Another one-dimensional scaling process is what is called as Gutman scaling. Gutman scaling is also known as scalogram analysis or cumulative scaling. Here, uh, the purpose is to establish a one-dimensional continuum which, in which you can perfectly predict item responses from the total score. All right? Although uh, it's not in practice possible to perfectly predict item scores from the total scores, that is the essential purpose of a Gutman scale. So here is a, an example of a Gutman scale. This scale has three items. Each item, the respondent scores from one or as a one or a zero. That is, he, she or he either agrees or disagrees. So the range of scores are zero to three. Now the reason this is called a cumulative scale is because if a person agrees, if you just know a person's score, you know their level of agreement. So if a person scores two, you know that the likelihood is that they have agreed to statement one and two, which is uh, they're willing to permit immigrants to live in their country and they're willing to permit immigrants to live in their neighborhood. It's very unlikely that a person's going to say two and three and not say yes to one. That is, if you're willing to let your child marry an immigrant, it's very likely you're willing to let them live in your nation. It's also very likely that you're willing to permit them to live in your neighborhood. This is why a cumulative scale of this kind, of a Gutman sort scale, allows you to predict a person's standing on their intensity within a particular domain without really having to know the individual items. So when you know a person saying three on their score uh, of attitudes towards immigrants, you know that they're very liberal and a person who scores a zero, you know, is extremely conservative uh, in that particular aspect. Now, similar to what we do in a Likert scale, Gutman scaling begins with a large set of items, right? So you start with a very large pool of items, 80 to 100 items is the minimum. Um, now in this case, uh, unlike a Likert scale, in a Gutman scale, you have judges rate each item with respect to whether it is favorable to the construct. The difference here is rather than giving you using a one to five response scale, uh, they use a yes or no rating. So if you think it is favorable or favorably reflects the construct, the person says yes. If you think it's no, they say no. Now, uh, these judges could be five people, it could be a hundred people, but notice and most importantly remember that these are not individuals who are giving you responses. They're telling you the fit between the statements and the underlying construct. Once this is done, again, like we would do in any other scaling methodology, like Likert, for instance, we use a set of analytical procedures. Uh, the analytical procedures that are used here are a little different. What you do here is you basically, you know, sort the rows and columns. Once you sort them, you look to see the items that people all agree on, and then the items that they also agree on if they agree on the first one, and then the items that they also agree on if they agree on the second one, and so on and so forth. And here you can see that item number two, seven, and five uh, appears to be that if everybody agreed on two, then you know it's likely that if they agreed on five, they have agreed to seven. If they agreed to seven, they've agreed to two. The exceptional items are three and eight and so on and so forth. So there are several statistical techniques for examining the table in order to find a cumulative scale. Again, these are outside the scope of this current class. Uh, we also have to test to see how good the fit is, uh, how good the item fit is. That is, you know, are people really agreeing to item number one in order to agree to when they agree, or rather uh, item number one when they agree to two and item number three if they agree to one and two. These are all things that have to be empirically validated. And what these uh, statistics all help us do is estimate a kind of score, a scale value for each individual item. What the respondent does, as you've already seen in that example, is for each of them they give you a yes or no answer, right? Once we have the answer, we basically just add these values up and the total score is the sum of the scale items respondents agreed to. That, in a nutshell, is Gutman scaling. Uh, one other scaling methodology that I haven't covered is Thurston scaling. And this is something I would like you to read in the text. Now, because again, procedurally, it's very similar but there are certain analytical differences as well as certain scoring pattern differences that you need to be aware of.